with waste generation projected to rise by 70% by 2050. Today's guest is pioneering data-driven solutions to propel cities toward zero waste future. So yeah. We got to talk about that. Instead of focusing on winning arguments, we're teaching the basic fundamentals of sales and marketing and how we can use them to win in the world of politics, teaching you how to meet people where they're at on the issues they care about. Welcome to The Brian Nichols Show. Well, hey there, folks. Brian Nichols here on The Brian Nichols Show, and thank you for joining us on, of course, another fun-filled episode. I am, as always, your humble host, joining you from our Cardio Miracle Studios here in lovely Eastern Indiana, 119 over 78. That was my blood pressure last time I went to the doctor's <laughs> office. Now, if you know me uh, and you know my my story, I used to weigh 385 pounds. High blood pressure has been not only an issue for me, but really it's been my genetics. My family, all my family has it. Uh, and, and with that, I was looking for any type of uh, option out there to help me reclaim my heart health. And that's when I found Cardio Miracle. And folks, I got to say the Cardio Miracle difference is in fact real. I've been using it now for about six months and I went from having consistently high blood pressure to, yes, as I mentioned, uh, now consistently low and normal blood pressure, but also it doesn't stop there. It helps improve your heart health by giving you uh, all the extra pump at the gym, all those extra hours of sleep at night so you're not tossing and turning, uh, plus uh, many other uh, wonderful benefits across the board, improve uh, your, your heart health and you'll see the, uh, the results, I guarantee. But hey, don't take my word for it. Join the tens of thousands of other folks who have experienced the cardio miracle difference for themselves. And if you're not sold, no worries. There's a 100% money back guarantee. So you have nothing to lose. So head down below in the show notes, click the link in this description or head to briannicholshow.com on our homepage forward slash heart. You'll see it right there. Uh, but other than that, folks, use code TBNS and get 15% off your order. Cardio Miracle, the best heart health supplement in the world. So going from uh, fixing our hearts to fixing the big cities. I lived in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania for seven years, and I watched it firsthand. Waste on waste on waste. You drive down any street in Philadelphia, garbage seems to be piling up in the masses during COVID. I watched literally weeks go by, garbage not being collected. This is an issue that's going to continue to be an issue. And today's guest is going to go ahead and maybe give us a little bit of options to how we can help save our cities as we continue to have more and more waste generation. Joining us today, we have from X Works Electra Kutsa Tavides. Did I get it right there, Electra? Help me out. You here. got it. Right, Nicole Show. Thank you. Yeah, you you did a good job. I gave it a shot, right? Um, thanks for joining yeah, the show, did. Electra. We're looking forward to today's conversation. But first, do us a favor, introduce yourself and why are we having the conversation focusing on waste generation and dealing with said waste generation? particularly in these big cities. Thank you. I uh, appreciate your intro, Brian. It's been amazing. Thank you for uh, inviting us on the show. So here we are. We're talking about waste and we're talking about the waste that the, it, the world generates. And uh, as a consumer, what we think is we put our, uh, I call it trash, but it's not trash. It's a commodity. We put it into the rubbish and we think nobody, nothing's going to come of it. But actually something is valuable out of it. And uh, this is where export come in. We What we deal in is the import and export of large commodities of uh, waste commodities, whether it's uh, plastics, paper, cardboard, it doesn't matter. We are the um, sort of North Star for the industry when it comes to driving, understanding where these commodities go to, and how we are dealing with it. So Electra, I lived in Philadelphia, as I outlined here in the intro. I saw it firsthand. This has been an issue that it seems that everybody understands is an issue, but there really doesn't seem to be a, a tangible solution. I love the fact that you're bringing that to the table today. Um, so let's kind of dig into what X Works is offering from a solutions-based standpoint, because as listeners of the audience know, we don't like just pointing out problems and saying, well, there's a problem, and then throwing our hands in the air. We like to bring solutions to the table. So what is XWorks doing in terms of addressing this waste generation issue at its core to fundamentally change the way we address our waste? Absolutely. Well said. I really like the fact that you pointed out that really we don't understand what's going on with our waste products. So what XWorks is doing is we're highlighting 
an industry that is importing and exporting huge amounts of waste products, whether it's waste for energy, whether it's uh, recyclables, it doesn't matter. As a society, in general, as a, as a global society, we just do not have the means to handle it locally or, uh, you know, whether it's in our neighboring countries, we just don't have the means. It would take us 50 to 100 years, literally, to handle this in a global scale. So where XWorks coming in play is that we are looking at how do we manage the movement and the understanding of imports and exports? How do we grasp what is being moved and what is actually being recycled? And this is where XRX plays a, a fundamental role. Let's dig into that then. Um, so let's let's actually talk through the solution that X Works is bringing to the table. Um, let's go to those municipalities, those those local governments. So if I'm an elected official, if I'm you know in the waste management bureaucracy, talk to me about the sales pitch. What 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 are you bringing to these folks in terms of saying here's the value from X Works, specifically from that solutions based perspective? Yeah. So um, here in Europe, I think it, it, it's important that we start here in Europe. Here in okay. Europe, there's a drive currently being pushed by the European EU Green Deal that's demanding that all products have a digital passport, whether you are a product or whether you are end of life, you need to have some sort of digital product passport that says, hey, I know where you've come from, I know where you're going, and this, and so Europe is driving this demand. Uh, uh, and we are, XWorks is following suit on this by saying we can help you meet the requirements by the EU, EU uh, sort of regulations that are saying, you need to understand where it's coming from, where it's going to, and XWorks is there to help put the puzzle together, if you will. Mm. Okay, so so when you're making this this case to to the municipalities, what what questions are you, are you often getting? And frankly, questions that turn into objections, right? We see this in the sales world, and I teach this to my sales team: be prepared for objections. So, what are those common objections you hear, and how do you uh, best overcome them? So can I be honest? Of course, I mean, that's why you're here. Mu yeah, municipalities, great. The, I don't really talk to municipalities. What we talk to are people or enterprises, recyclers, manufacturers that are actually in the game. They're actually moving the material. They're the ones that have the problem. Municip municipalities are but a second thought when it comes to the regulations. So it's really an exciting moment because um, in the space that we're in, the uh, end user is the one that's driving the necess necessity for the digital passports and the requirements to understand what we're dealing in. When it comes to the, yeah, the, the guy that does the material, well, what we do is we help them understand that they're, yeah, moving good material in a good space. Gotcha. So you, you mentioned over in Europe. Now let's bring it over to the States. Are you doing any work in the United States right now? And what's that looking like? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're working with various logistics firms in the U S I really want to expand into the U S I'm actually, my heart is from the U S I moved to the uh, UK some years ago. So I'm an American moved to the U S UK. Uh, so there we are. Uh, I, I really feel that Europe and the UK are really connected when it comes to moving materials of this kind of quality and commodity, uh, especially when it goes to Asia and the rest of the world where it needs to get recycled. So what do you see XWorks uh, having in terms of impact when we're looking at, yes, this very scary number, um, the increase in waste generation, 70% through 2050. That's a big number there, Electra. So so what is XWorks going to be able to do in terms of actually helping impact that number in a positive way? So where XWorks can play a role is that we can help understand specifically 
what the material is, where it's going, how we can mitigate if it's uh, illegal or not illegal. We can help manage the regulations uh, from a governmental or env environmental perspective. We can also, from an AI perspective, which is really exciting, is that we can actually look at the uh, material that's being presented on a photographic uh, uh, evidence and say, hey, this is not metal. Why are you presenting this as plastics? for example. So there's a lot of exciting things that XWorks is doing. And the point of XWorks is to really mitigate and help reduce claims and potential illegal dumping. Where, where do you see your biggest, um, I guess we'll say obstacles, your biggest threats outside of what you're doing at X work. I mean, is, is it government? Is it uh, just folks not adapting to the X works approach? What, what are you kind of identifying there in your, your SWOT analysis? Yeah, really good. Great question. I think the, the problem is scammers. <laughs> mm. uh, it's always been a big problem in the industry. And I, I, I've been shouting about this for a number of years now, but I really believe that uh, you know, people that want to scam, they they just freely can right now today. And what x is here to do is stop that from happening. So ultimately, I think that the scammer mentality is out of the industry. So how, so dig into a little bit. Like, what would that look like, the scammers out there? I mean, yeah. we hear scammers. I'm, I'm in the cybersecurity world, right? So that's where we're head, we know where our heads are at in terms of scammers. Sure. But tell us more what that would look like in the waste management world. Happy to. So um, uh, what it looks like is like this. Hi, uh, Brian. Um, I met you on LinkedIn. You look really great. I'm connected to quite a few of your people blah, 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 on uh, LinkedIn. And why don't we connect? And then you connect to that person and they're proposing something quite interesting, which is, hey, I've got some plastic or paper that sounds really exciting. So they propose it to you. And then what they ask you is for 50% deposit upfront, 30% deposit upfront, with no ability to see the material. So you're asking yourself, well, I'm giving all this money, where, you know, can I even see the material? This is what the scammers do. They are intentional about their procedure and they want to make you lose your money. And that's it. I have, I, you know, in the last six months, I have a network of people that have been begging me for verification, certification about who they're playing with, meaning who are they interacting with in the network. All right. Well, that's very interesting. I didn't know there's a whole thing you could even scam uh, is, is uh, waste products. Like, uh, yeah, that, there's a whole new world for us, Electra, frankly. So I appreciate you being able to uh, to peel back the, the layer of the onion here and show us, you know, what's actually taking place. Because a lot of folks, they don't really take, you know, in, into appreciation and consideration where their waste goes, right? And, and I think, you know, yeah. as we go towards our final thoughts today, I'll kick things off, then I'll turn things over to you. So this is something, you know, we, we look at our, our society, we look at our world, and things just go. And too often, folks predominantly on the more left side of the aisle think, well, this is happening because there's somebody in government making it happen. To the contrary, right? This And, and Electra, you're, you're articulating this right now with your solution, is that to the, to the contrary, what happens is it is thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of folks out there who are actively going through their lives and bringing value to the marketplace who make the system that we see come together, come together and thrive. And it's not that, that, you know, one top down unilateral approach to instituting some solution or some way of doing things, but rather getting these individual case studies, figuring out what actually works versus what sounds great, but doesn't actually accomplish the results that we thought it would accomplish. So I, I think it's really great for us to Absolutely. actually dig into this today. So thank you, Elector, for that. That's my final thoughts. What do you have for us on your end? 
I, I just want to say, think about what you do when you uh, push out your materials into the world. Think about it. How can it affect our society and how can I, you know, uh, bring it back to me in, in a positive way? Electra Kutsavtidis. I got it right that time. Thank you for joining I us here it. on the Brian Nichols Show. Yeah, I, was, I knew I was going to get it sooner rather than later. You uh, did so it. You did it, Brian. If you enjoyed today's episode, <laughs> please go ahead and give it a share. When you do, tag yours truly at B Nichols Liberty. You can find me over on Facebook and over on X.com. Electra, where can folks go ahead and reach out to you I if they want to continue you. the conversation? Yeah, so I'm on LinkedIn and X and whatnot. Uh, I can give it to you over to you, uh, uh, Brian, uh, to share our details, but I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Perfect. All right, folks. Well, that will all be in the show notes. And like I said, beyond if you enjoyed today's episode, please support the show. And you can support the show by supporting those who support the show, which is our sponsors. So Cardio Miracle, Ebels, uh, Liquid Freedom, plus BNC Technology Advisors, all amazing organizations who are supporting us. So please go support them. They help keep the lights on. So help them keep the lights on, but also get some awesome services or products as well. And uh, with that, if you want to go ahead and share the show, you can share the show from wherever it is you consume your content, but maybe you have a friend who wants video content and you're an audio person. Well, no worries because we're everywhere. So for video, YouTube, Rumble, Sovereign, or X.com. Yes, we're uploading our entire episodes to X.com. So go ahead, check it out over there. Or if you go ahead and you, you're like, hey, I want my podcast, check us out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube Music, wherever it is. Just hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell. And by the way, we have over 800 episodes here of The Brian Nichols Show. So you can dig through the archives. I guarantee at least a handful will leave you educated, enlightened, and informed. Go ahead if you're watching this on YouTube, hit that like, subscribe button, and head down below in the comments. What type of waste management solutions would you like to see for your community? Let us know down below. Keep the conversation going. But with that being said, Brian Nichols signing off here on The Brian Nichols Show for Electra Kutsavtidis from xwork.com. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for listening to The Brian Nichols Show. Find more episodes at briannicholsshow.com.